Hi, Cancer. Welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your new love messages. All right. If you're new, hit the subscribe button and also give me a thumbs up. All right. So this is for Cancer. Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Cancer. All right. Um, if you're new, I mean, if you like a personal reading, all that information will be down in the description box. As you guys know, right? Okay. So, this is for Cancer. New love for Cancer, Spirit, God's Angels, Universe. New love. New love for Cancer. What is this new love like for Cancer? New love for Cancer. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Let me make sure these cards is okay. We have the Ace of Pentacles falling out, so this is definitely something new. It's too many. New love for Cancer, please. New love, Cancerian. Could be done with an Earth sign. Okay. Yikes, the Ace of Pentacles did want to come out in reverse as well. So yeah, Tower. I feel like this new love, this person that you that you're meeting or that you just met could have went through just went through a loss here because the Ace of Pentacles popped out in the reverse, and that's why. Because somebody lost a large amount of money here. Okay. As if, if this is coming up as someone that you're dealing with or someone in the past, then hey. Take it as it resonates, but this is new love messages, okay? So this person, this new love, um, is really, um, somebody here is going through it. They lost a home, they lost opportunities, they could have lost a job or, or whatever this is, but something got shaken up here with the tower card pretty heavy. New love messages for Cancer. New love. Yeah, we have the Two of Cups and the Page of Wands. So that Two of Cups will represent something new and so can the Page of Wands. Yeah, and the Devil. So there's a lot of communication here, a lot of flirting back and forth, passionate messages here with the Page of Wands. Okay, this person could be that you're meeting or you've met cancer could be younger than you. I feel like there's there that, that something could pop off here. Um and then something may go cold really quick. We have the devil here and the six of swords with the seven of swords. So you could be dealing with the Capricorn. What is the messages here for new love for Cancerian? New love. What's the Ace of Pentacles in reverse with the Five of Pentacles? New love. We have the Six of Wands. So this is definitely something online. We have the Ten of Wands. So I feel like something here in the Justice. Some of you could be going through a legal case regarding um, with a Libra or go, just... Going, it, you could be dealing with a Libra or going through a legal case here. It could be regarding a child. All right, there's some money that somebody's about to lose or a lot of money that somebody lost here. Somebody feels very weighed down. Okay, this new person that you're dealing with. I feel like somebody here is um in the spotlight here. Doing well for themselves and then there's somebody else that's not doing so well. Yeah, like I said, it could be a Libra. Because that's the only major arcana here. Some of you are going to get a victory outcome in a court case regarding a child here as well. Yeah, the star card. So somebody here is definitely in the public eye. Six of Wands star. Could be an Aquarius. Okay, with the death card. Could be a Scorpio. Alright. 
the Lady Empress Nine of Cups. What what is this over here? Ace of Pentacles in reverse and the Five of Pentacles. The new love for Cancer. Yeah, the Eight of Cups. Okay. So I feel like somebody feels, I feel like somebody over here has new love. They're online, they're celebrated, they're a star, they're, you know what I'm saying, highly influential here. This could be somebody that has a high following on any given platform, but this is somebody looked up to, somebody appreciated, somebody in the spotlight. People love this person, Two of Cups. Okay, a lot of good feedback on whatever this is they have going on. And I feel like there's somebody that you walked away from. There was somebody, there's somebody here. What's the Eight of Cups? Yeah, this could have something to do with the Libra, like I said. Yeah, the Magician, Gemini, with the Lovers, yeah. Queen of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. I feel like somebody here is like, really, what's the Magician upset here? Because you have a new love, Cancer, and they're watching, yeah, the Devil, I knew it. Somebody's doing some kind of black magic here, the Devil and the Magician. The devil clarified the magician card. So somebody here is trying to do black magic on you and your success. Somebody's trying to to make you feel burdened or make you lose your fucking um your fucking money here, Cancer. Okay, so this just got real. So you have a new love here, Cancerian, or this is something somebody else. Okay, and you're in the spotlight. You're doing well. People love you. People fuck with you or whatever and then there's somebody over here that you walked away from eight of cups they're burdened they're out in the cold they're broke or they're not doing as well so they're wishing and doing black magic on your success hoping that things fall for you because they're jealous hateful and evil what's the messages here wow yeah the lovers and they're secretly in love with you there could be even somebody that's trying to get you to come back. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. Somebody here is very comfortable financially, their own business. Okay, doing very well for themselves in the spotlight. And somebody's trying to do magic to keep you from being it. Somebody's watching you be in a new relationship, be happy, be in love. Yeah, that's what I said, watching you. Page of Swords, stalking. Okay, and then we have the Eight of Swords here. So somebody's doing a binding spell with the devil and the Eight of Swords trying to keep you bound to them. Okay, they're watching you move on and be happy. And this person, yeah, the high priestess, but you already know that they could be doing this. You're getting downloads about this. Eight of Wands and the high priestess. All right, what's this new energy over here? Two of Cups in the, um, yeah, Two of Wands, yeah. Two of Cups, you just feel like this new energy is a better decision here. Yep, we have the Seven of Wands that wanted to pop out. You're protected from this person's um, evil shit that they're doing, this person from the past, possibly. You're protected from that shit. Yeah, judgment. Spirit is going to be calling judgment down upon this person, and they're going to be facing major karma for what they're doing. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. Things are going to continue to move forward for you. You're doing something that you're destined to do with the Wheel of Fortune. You're destined to be in the spotlight. You're destined to be on stage. You're destined to perform here. And somebody is upset and mad. They're doing everything in their power to make you broke, to make you lose shit, to make you feel burdened, to make you feel weighed down. But it's not going to happen. You're still going to fucking shine because you're highly and spiritually initiated here. Star card and the high priestess with the Wheel of Fortune. Whatever it is you're doing on stage, YouTube, Instagram, whatever you're doing, performing, you meant to do this. You're supposed to do this. And there ain't nothing that this raggedy low life motherfucker over here can do about it. What's the messages? What's the messages, please? Yeah, the high priestess wants to come out. You know what this person is doing. You know what they're doing. You're a psychic. Yeah, so some of you are psychic online here. You speak out for a living. You, you, whatever you're doing, you're good at it. You're real good. Yeah, we're the empress. You're in the empress energy. Okay, Libra energy, higher font, doing I mean, the hermit, somebody who knows, somebody, an empath, a psychic, a wise one. You're just completely wise. Yeah. And look at that. As I said, that the faith card is right there. Okay. The faith card is like the higher thought. Somebody highly initiated. You cannot fuck with this person. So your best bet is to stop trying. You're a loser anyway for doing that. Ace of Cups. Yeah. You got new love. Is somebody mad? Tell me about this new love. What's the two of cups for cancer? What's the two of cups? For cancer, yeah, the judgment. Yep. Yeah. So 
So this new person that you're dealing with could be, I don't know why I'm hearing Aries, or this could be a Pisces, or it could be an Aquarius, it could be a Gemini, all right? It could be a Capricorn, okay, period. But I feel like, I feel like you got new love, you're happy, and I feel like if there's a Sagittarius or somebody from the past who's going to try to come back in here, yeah, you're very faithful and you're good. You're very much um, rooted in your faith. Yeah, the death. There could be a Scorpio or somebody or a Sagittarius from the past that may try to rush back in or some shit. All right? Yeah. Somebody that don't want to cycle to end out with the world card. They want to reconcile. This person, yeah, this is somebody who kept a lot of secrets and shit like that. Wasn't willing to tell the truth about shit. A fucking liar to the core. Somebody here is not doing well financially. Somebody here is, is emotionally manipulative or they're going to be emotionally manipulated here by someone. Yeah, I see you being happy with this new love here. Ten of Cups and Three of Cups. Somebody definitely, you got new love here, but somebody definitely is here wanting to come in from the past. All right, period. This could be a Libra, but it doesn't have to be. Or somebody's anticipating, you're anticipating communication from a Libra or you want to communicate to a Libra. But yeah, somebody here is a liar and they can't be trusted, just period. So you have new love, you're on stage, you're happy, you're doing you, and somebody else is jealous and hateful and evil and wishing and praying for your downfall, literally doing black magic. It's rare that um, the devil, that the magician clarifies clarifies the uh, devil card. I mean, that the devil card clarifies the magician card. Then we have the eight of swords here. So somebody's trying to keep you bound and stuck, weighed down and broke or lose your money, your riches, your fortune. They want you out in the cold and, and everything, but you're not. You're over here a star literally on stage performing and they bitch ass is watching you because they're a fucking loser. I'm getting heavy Scorpio vibes. There's a Scorpio and a Cancer doing this it could be a scorpio and a cancer a brother and a sister is what i'm hearing what's the messages here for give me one for um for cancer new love but you don't have to worry this person is going to watch you be happy have a family and all that with this new person they're just gonna have to be mad yeah separation time apart from your partner is on the horizon so yeah this person mad because you don't fuck with them this period one more can't stand when people do stupid shit like this. If you if you was more busy um, getting money than, than doing black magic, bitch, you wouldn't be in the Ace of Pentacles in reverse and the Five of Pentacles. Broke ass motherfucker. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Yeah, you know that. And do we have true love in reverse? This is the romance of a lifetime. Oh, I had the whole thing. Okay, my bad. Yeah, because you're going into a true love. And this person you separated from and you want nothing else to do, You some told you to pay attention to the red flags. Some, you, some of you know that this person is doing black magic. You can feel it. And as long as you know, then that's your first step to combating it. Okay? Because you're aware now. Period, point blank. Give me one for new love for cancers, please. New love. Give me one card for new love for cancer. New love. Girl with a snake. Empath, narcissist, paradigm, being charmed to use, enabling boundaries. Okay. And then we have a, a karmic relationship. Fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go. If somebody, and also if somebody left to, to go uh, run off with a new love or or whatever this is, that person's going to turn out to be a snake. Something's going to end drastically there and somebody's going to be running back, trying to run back to you. Yeah, somebody's wearing a mask in this new relationship. That's for some of you. For others of you, this could be a karmic relationship you, that you were dealing with with a snake-ass person, okay? And you moved on, separated yourself, and went towards something that was good for you, and somebody's mad, or you're going to. But this new love is going to make you happy. You're going to date, all right? Maybe y'all will have a relationship that will be in the public eye together. You guys could do, be doing healing work together or whatever. But this new love is something really good for you. And there's somebody from the past that, that can't seem to let go or end the cycle out here. 
All right. So those are the messages I have for you, Cancer. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share. And if you want to personal, that information is down in the description box.